Hello, Bs and Gs. Welcome back to another episode of Gridman Mode. If you have missed any of the previous two episodes, there will be a link up here in the top right corner and in the description. Click those and it will take you back and you can watch everything. Buy the stuff, fire, and boom, we're good to go. I am going to go for the Keris Partisan. Oh, there's the weapon poison. Can go via Rune Spear now, put the weapon poison plus on it, and poison him. Oh, oh shit. Let's get oh that my shield back God. on. Uh, let's fire bow. Oh my god, there it is. I'm going to go with the tank route and try and be as tanky as I can. I'm going to buy it 200k down the drain. There we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> you beauty. Those of you who have been watching up until now, you can see that we are now in the bottom right of the grids. So, I've got a big plan today. We're going to go for some barrows. We're going to try and pull some barrows gear because that is one thing that is going to save me from Kinz's crystal bow. Um, we're going to alk a few things, buy a slayer staff because I'm going to use a slayer staff at barrows, get a few things together, and then we'll head on over to barrows. So, I'm going to start this timer. Dead Man Apocalypse launches Friday, August 25th and runs until September 16th. Whether you're an experienced Dead Man player or curious about participating for the first time, Apocalypse has something for you. This seasonal game mode offers a deadly fresh start, seriously accelerated XP and masses of loot drops, alongside game-breaking sigil power-ups offering a huge range of buffs. This is the open world PvP Dead Man you know and love, but with a huge twist. The end is nigh. The Wizard's Tower reports disturbances in the Abyss, missing person reports are on the rise, and citizens all over the world are claiming to have seen monsters, the kind you only hear of in stories of beer-fueled tales of bravado. Bosses are appearing across Gilanor, and great loot awaits those brave enough to risk fighting other players as well as other bosses. So, come August 25th, make sure you log in and play some Dead Man Apocalypse. Hey everyone, and welcome to episode number three of Grid Man Mode. Today, we are placed in Grid 1. We have four hours in this grid. This is actually the first grid that Link was in in episode 1. So we get all of Zaya. We come over here, we get that weird upper part of Prif where Link got that rune mace. We have the Tree Gnome Stronghold. We have, uh, what's this, Piscatoris. I always forget the name of this place. Piscatoris, Fishing Colony. And I believe we get this lighthouse. Not that we need it, but it's a good reference point because it cuts right down through here where my mouse is. And the line is, of course, the same line by Prif. So we have the upper left-hand quadrant. I, I don't want to say there's... I almost want to say there's not really anything I could do on the mainland. We could get there through a tree, so I'm not that stressed. If we do have to get there, we could easily get there. And we might be going there. And for some spoilers, I managed to win last episode, which means I get five free boss kills in this very region. So, let's roll the clip. So ultimately, I only had two choices to pick for bosses. Skatizo's off limits because I don't have the totem, and raids would be way too OP. It's bosses, not raids. So those two choices were either Vardorvis, which is in this region, and Seracnus, which is where I am right now. Now, Vardorvis is the more exciting boss, and it would be amazing to get a piece of Virtus, but it's incredibly rare, and every other drop on the drop table is something that I can easily obtain in this series already, with the exception of maybe a super combat pot, but I can get that in the next region, so it's not really a big deal. We get wildy bosses, and all the wildy bosses will drop them in the next episode for me. So I'm not too worried about that. I'm not even going melee, at least as of this episode, so it really isn't too big of a deal. Seracnus doesn't really have the best drop table either, but we could possibly get the Cudgel, which would be a massive upgrade, and we could also get a D-Med as well, which isn't as rare, but that would also be an upgrade. So Seracnus, although not the most exciting, is going to be the boss of our choice today. How nutty would it be if we got the cudgel in these five kills? That would be pretty insane. Dragon bones. Pointless. Kill number two coming on up. Mithril ore. Guess it could be made into alks or something. I just can't really see myself mining that much coal though, you know? And kill number three. Wow, that was a pretty fast kill. I wish there was a, uh, a timer on that one. Ah. No, not what I want. Not what I want. These kills are going too fast. Kill number four is going to be... And the last and final kill before we start our four-hour progression. 
<laughs> Yay. Uh, oh, so yeah, we don't really have uh, too much to show for it, which is kind of <laughs> shitty, but that's okay. We can't always expect great boss kills, can we? I mean, the gauntlet was so niche for what I needed because it just gave straight coins and it was the perfect time to get that. And it helped us get the bow, of course, but yeah, this ain't really too much to show for it. But that timer started. A lot of people in the comment section actually said, Varg, just use the crystal shards you got on the crystal bow. Oh my god, I actually got 28, but I put one in just to test it because I didn't know if it was possible. So technically, I'm adding 28. Um, 5k charges! I still can't go insane with using it, but I could definitely use it a lot during this progression just fine. Let's grab this, let's go to the Tanner, and the first thing we're gonna do is make ourselves that, uh, black dehyde of a dying to make. Oh my god, I'm already throwing. This doesn't have a slash on it? Oh my god. I definitely have, like, a knife that I picked up, right? I gotta go check the bank. I don't even know. It's such a weird place to have a Tanner in here, but you know what? We take what we are given. Now, we want to make the top, and we want to make the bottom. And that is our black dehyde. Of course, no vamps because we already have the Barrow's Gloves. Now, let's leave this place without getting ourselves killed. I have a little bit of a unique idea. I want to go for the Zeretian robes. Only because I, I don't think I'm going to be going magic in any of these fights. But I want the option to, especially in the last fight, if it becomes a weird tribriding fight. The issue is I don't think I can get better robes than that. And once I leave this region, I won't be able to get any more robes. And we still have nine pieces of thread. Just saved a few seconds by popping a Hosidius Telly, which is actually pretty huge. I keep forgetting I have this cape. Um, I don't know if I'm going to change my house. I mean, I, I might just for the sake of, like, getting stats back and stuff. It's super useful having that pool. But um, I don't know how much it costs, but it probably will be worth it. I want to buy stews here. Uh, Yeah, we're going to hop a few worlds and just fill up on stews. I don't feel like using my sharks and getting those back. Those take a bit too long to fish. So stews are probably going to be the food of choice for everything I kill in this episode. The heal 11. They're not awful. All right, guys. Let's do it. We've got everything we need. Let's home teleport. And we are going to be using the Barrow's Tally in here. So I'm going to have to sort of top up on Lauren's. I bought a few just there, but we'll be absolutely fine for now. I don't know. To be honest, 62 might do it. I don't know. Um, grab ourselves a spade and boom, we're good to go. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to be using obviously the Slayer Dart spell. And yeah, let's see. I'm excited to see if we can just do this without even having to use a prayer pot or anything. All right, we got 96% chance to hit, which obviously I was expecting anyway. Uh, and we can hit 19s. So, yeah, this should be okay. I forgot about Aaron. So we're going to need to bring something to kill Aaron. I'll sort that out in a minute. Um, other than that, the rest of the brothers are going to be absolutely fine against magic. I might bring the Dragon Battle Axe against Aaron. And just, just melee him down. Things with, like, max combat, like, should be okay. All right, let's see how this goes down. I'm pretty sure we're going to be using a lot of prayer here. But it's probably worth... Boom. Okay, this should be okay. This is definitely going to be the most painful part of Barrows. Although we can hit so high with this. Like, the 32s, that's it's probably better DPS, actually, than the other brothers. And if I bring pots as well, I might bring... I've got attack and strength pots that I'm got spare i might bring those and that will make this super easy ah this is fine this is fine here we go come on oh. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what we wanted to see oh 1k c and we pull a helm yes I sort of look like Rog right now. This is all shit he rocks. Okay. Unreal. And we got all our death runes back. Mine runes back as well. I probably went a bit overkill on the mine runes, not gonna lie. Absolutely buzzing. Let's uh, let's go again. It shouldn't take long and all to get these fabrics. I think they drop them kind of like 1 in 14 or so. And a lot of them are actually like half dead. Oh my god, they poison. Oh, I do have anti-poison in the bank, but I might just power through it. It's only gonna hit threes. What's their range defense? Do they have strong range defense? Uh, they don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm just hitting more zeros than I 
expected I would be. But we have food. I think I'll be all right. I think I'll be all right. Okay, I think I have enough for the top and the bottom. Do I want the hat, though? That took a little longer than I anticipated. It's only three more. Uh, I just don't want to regret it. I just don't want to regret it. It's only three more, so this shouldn't take long. I keep thinking of ways to try to get to Nate is not. That's what I've been doing the last like 15 minutes killing these guys. Nate is not is in this grid, but the boat to get to Nate is not and Relica is in the next grid. But it's possible to get to Nate is not by teleporting directly with a liar, but you can't get a liar unless you're in Relica. So I think it's shot. But this is where my mind is all serious, just trying to work out weird scenarios like that. All right, guys, we managed to get the hat. We're now off to the center of Kurend. See, maybe I should just get the uh, the house because I could just literally tell you right to the heart and get all my stats back. <sighs> Where's the estate agent? Uh, I don't know how much it's going to cost. Oh my god, a ninja impling. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Ah, oh, lame. We swung a telly to Hosidia's portal, and we're just going to see how much the house costs. I don't want to check on the wiki, because I think I'm just going to bite the bullet anyway, so... I didn't want to be turned off to the idea, because we are going to kill Nex for Rune Boots Nex, and I know we'll make some money back doing that. It's 8.7k?! My god, Rarg. I, I I was expecting like 40k, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but we have our house and we have access to all of our tellies. I feel like a new man again. I missed it so much last episode. Go right to the heart. Ooh, now we're gonna be ranging the Necrols and probably do it in gear like this. Safe spot and not really worry about too much with food. I probably should have bought more food though. More stews. All right, guys. But the back to back, the dream. No, but that is a naughty chest. Very naughty chest. I love seeing that. Deaths and chaoses, they are going to be so, so helpful, guys. Um, and I'll let you in on a little secret as to why. Because we are going to go ahead and upgrade this rune SQ shield into a cheeky, cheeky uh, Toxketzil, or whatever it's called. Um, because it gets huge range defense and also gives us a... a just press D. Just press D. I keep saying that to myself. Just press D and it will take you to Barrows. Um, and it will give us that five strength bonus as well. All right. Chest number three. Come on. Okay. More deaths. More deaths. That's fine. All right. I'm going to quickly go out my way to go to the ooh, crafting guild. Actually, I don't have a brown apron. That's fine. We'll go down to Remington quickly. Uh, yeah, just going to quickly go out my way to grab the supplies to make recoils and a glory. Because I, I might as well make the glory now. It gives prayer bonus and gives us offensive, you know, positive offensive stuff for both magic and melee. So we might as well go make that quickly. So I'm going to grab myself the molds here in Remington. We're getting a ball of wool the old-fashioned way and making it ourselves. All right, then we just used a quick mini game teleport to get over to Tazar. I'm going to mine some gold here and use the furnace over there to turn these into bars and then make ourselves a glory. Um, I'm going to get all the gold I need for recoils and glories um, for the rest of the series. So four recoils we're going to need, two for this episode, two for the next, um, and then obviously a gold bar for the glory as well. So five gold ore will do it. Then we're going to make a dragonstone amulet. Boom. Put that on there. And then enchant this bad boy. And we have ourselves an amulet of glory. At least the Cyclopses were good for one thing. We got the glory. Okay, sick. My bad, guys. In the last clip, I realized that I minimized my timer by mistake. If you ever see the timer frozen like that, it just means that Link or I minimized our timer and the screen recorder can't record it, so it freezes it where it last was. Um, can I actually not safe spot these guys? Oh, <gasps> What? Maybe I can up here? There's got to be like a spot for this. Oh, hold on. No. I really thought I was going to be able to do this. Can I use their own death spawns to save spot? Maybe I can finesse my way through not taking too much damage. I might have to go by Stu's. Chest number four, I think? 
Good amount of death runes. Good amount of death runes. Chest and number five. I'd like to see some blood runes, to be honest. Haven't seen any of them. Chest number six coming up. And hopefully we can pull ourselves some blood runes or a piece. Let's see. There we go. The blood runes, death runes, and chaos runes. That's huge. That's what we like to see. That's worth so much money. Now, obviously, we can't sell blood runes for Tockle, but we can sell blood runes so that we can buy Barrow's gloves because obviously that's an upgrade I want as well. So just getting passive blood runes is so huge for that as well. Chest and number seven. It'd be so nice to get body or legs. So nice. No body or legs, but a lot of death runes and chaos there. Lovely. All right. Chest number eight. Mm, eh, eh. <laughs> it's hard to keep getting hyped about runes, you know, like it's good and we are definitely making a dent in what is going to be the toggle grind, but it would be nice to just get a few lucky items. I know we got one 1kc. One I'm, I'm very happy about it, but obviously if you're going to get a tank item, you want a body or leg really, don't you? But I'm more than happy with the helm. Honestly, don't think I'm complaining. Please don't. Chest number nine coming in here. Come on. Give me that. Give me that body. Give me that body. It's, it's bloods, though. It's bloods. I'll take it. I'll take it. Chest and number 10. Oh, no. That's such a waste of time, man. Chest number 12. Not a bad chest. Not a bad chest at all. We take that. I had the time to minimize for that last kill, guys. Don't you worry. It's still going right now. I've accidentally gone a bit too far here with the potential, so we're going to get bolt racks, but... Yeah, that's a bit annoying. Do they even out for anything? Like, can I just out them for money? No, not really. Yeah, that was silly on my part. Chest and number 15 coming in here. Good, good chest for money. Good chest for money. Chest number 18. No, man. Oh my god, room boots. I'm going to die. Just teleport. Just teleport. Oh, Oh, I I went so quick to pull up the recording that I forgot to put Protect for Melee back on. Was getting so many death runes, I kind of had a thought of possibly going magic in this fight. Just to throw Link off in the final fight. So he doesn't know what the hell I'm going to do. So he has to bring switches. Like dehide switches and a range switch. Because I don't think he's going to be going range this episode. So I genuinely just might go back and get... Barrage runes. Ah, we'll do one more trip. We'd want some money anyway. We we can never be low on cash during this series in case we need to buy something. So we'll go back for a little bit. And every trip will look something like this. Just come back here, replenish my stats, back to the heart. So this 8.7k, I think it was, is going to pay for itself. Even if it was like 100k, it'd probably pay for itself. I don't know how long I'd actually be here, though. We still got so many charges in our bow, and that doesn't mean we can't keep killing them if we don't want to. I don't know how low we would go on our bow. I don't want to go too low. I don't want to just send everything in this episode. All right, I'm taking a quick little detour now. I'm going to sell off these runes, see how I'm doing in terms of how close we are to the shield, and then I'm also going to mine some rune rocks as well, which are in the uh, lower part of the city. But before I do all of that, I'm going to get myself some Karamja gloves so we can get everything a bit cheaper. Also going to make the recoils and enchant them. Uh, just do everything while I'm out here. Might as well. And then I'll be ready and I can just sort of send barrows to the rest. Can I get another set of Karamja gloves? Boom. All right, let's make these rings quickly. And with the Karamja gloves on, we're going to get a discount. I don't think we're going to be able to buy it just yet, but I will trade a load of runes off. I think I'm just going to sell the uh, Chaos's first because they're going to be the least useful. 58,000 we need. So, you know, this is already putting a decent dent into it. And that's going to give us halfway. Then I will still sell some Death Runes as well. I'm going to keep these a little bit higher. I don't really want to go under 500, to be honest. Uh, but this is going to be really close, actually. If we're really close, I might. I'm going to sell some Mines as well. I don't need that many Mines. And I'm not getting any more money for those. So that's not even going to... Be something we sell. Fuck it. 56. 58, 500. Boom. That's enough. That's enough for the talk. And we are going to go and buy it. 58,000. Thank you very much. Leaving us with 46. Tockle, 
Unreal scenes. We now have that bad boy, which gives 65 range defense. In comparison, the Rune SQ gives 38 range defense. All right, guys. So we are at an hour and seven minutes left. We have four 50 chaos runes, which in all honesty, I probably won't use in a fight because it's just quite shit of a spell. Uh, 230 death runes, only 60 blood runes, which is the only problem right now. Oh, nice rune chain. Speaking of runes, I'm actually out of gnats, so we got to buy more of those as well. Uh, we got tons of soul runes as well, so blood barrage is definitely on the table for this episode as well. Uh, but yeah, blood runes is our only issue. Money is coming in slow, although we did just get this. We can't alk it yet, but that is pretty nice to see. I might actually just keep that for right now. I mean, heck, this could even be used as like a ranged tank build as well. I mean, I probably won't be doing that. I could always just smith it in the next episode. I'll probably just alk. I'm just kind of rambling right now, going through all my thoughts. But I'll probably will have to buy blood runes. And then when I was thinking where I was going to buy blood runes, I saw Lunar Isle is available, and we could tell you right there from our house. Also, I then thought, oh, we could probably make Lunar Armor. Turns out you can't make Lunar Armor after the quest. The only way to get it is to buy the Lunar Armor, which is outrageously expensive. Like, Mystic is cheaper. Not that I can buy Mystic in this episode, but just for, for reference, like, Mystic is a lot cheaper than the cost it would be to buy full Lunar. It's it's pretty nutty, actually. Um, so, can't get Lunar, or I... I'm not going to get any of the lunar pieces. I think the body alone is like 140k, something ridiculous. But then I remember there's Moon Clan. Now, Moon Clan isn't as good as the Zeretian robes, but I can still get the Moon Clan boots and the cape. So, and the ring. Is there a ring? I don't remember. I don't think so. I think there's a lunar ring, no Moon Clan ring. But yeah, so we should be pretty stacked on on magic attack this episode. I'm, I'm kind of excited to go magic. I don't think he's going to expect it. Right, guys, I'm sacking it off. I'm, I'm sacking the runes off. I'm just going to go straight for KC here of the Barrows Brothers and nothing else. I, I just don't want to waste the opportunity of having Barrows because obviously I never get it again. I've got an hour and 13 minutes left. I still will need to get rune uh, for rune body and rune legs. I'm almost tempted to not even do that and wait for the next episode because I can get it in the last episode as well. <sighs> it's so tough. Because I know you guys don't want to see me lose another episode. Although some of you do. You Team Ragas do. But like, Team Link, if I don't get Rune for this fight, please don't hate me for it. Because I can get it in the next grid. And I really want to get another Barrows piece. So I haven't decided. I might go and get the Rune. But that is a possibility as well. Let's open this. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, oh you beauty! Guthans is Team Link confirmed. Oh, yes. The tank legs. That is insane. Oh, I'm so buzzing, guys. I'm so buzzing. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to keep pushing. We're going to see if we can get a body. We'll see what we can get. Um, I do need to start thinking about money as well. So I need to look into how much money I've got. The blood rinse should be helpful. Um, I could even sell this and maybe get a different weapon. Or at least alk it. It's worth, what, 120 If I want to get Barrow's gloves, I'm going to need to get some money together. Oh, God. I'm a bit silly. I completely forgot that we have blood runes in the bank. I mean, it's fine. It's not the worst thing in the world. Because we did get more money as well. Lots of death runes. Uh, we, we, we are making money as we're doing this, so it's not the biggest deal. So thankfully, we don't have to spend money on blood runes, but we still need to get nature runes, and we still need to get a staff of water. I did get a mystic air staff, but I decided that, you know, it's just, like, not really worth it because I'm not going to staff bash with it. If I was going to melee at all, I probably would use my Karis, or really, I would just range. I really don't want to bring range in this fight. I want to just go strictly magic, no switches. This fight, again, is literally just to throw Link off. Even if I lose this, he might be thinking like, oh, is he going to go magic or range or melee in the final fight? He'll have no idea. 178k plus 98k that we had in the bank. Let's go over here and make sure we get our Moon Clan stuff. So we want the boots, the cape. Let me just make sure that this doesn't give more than my hat. I don't think it does. All, all the other pieces I've already checked. No. Okay. So... I think that's it. The annoying thing about this is it gives negative range. Watch my range defense just plummet. Whew. 
I mean, I know I'm taking these off here. I'll do this to demonstrate wild stuff. All right, I'm going to get my rune rocks together now. We're going to need five to make a plate body and then obviously the coal as well. Uh, and then I've got a few other things I want to do, like buy the barrows gloves, uh, make some food and also change up my weapon. So yeah, let's do that. All right, that's five runite rocks now. I should have brought some tellies with me. Um, I'm going to have to hit a bank. I'll just go up to this bank up here um, because I want to get over to RD now. Yeah, probably going to use the RD mine, the east one, because that's probably the closest bank I've got in my grid to a coal mine. Uh, so, yeah, going to get our runes out, make these into a rune plate body, and then I can focus on, as I said, getting some food and changing up my weapon. Right, there's the first inventory. All right, we got all the coal we need. This probably isn't the most efficient way of making the rune bars. I could probably do it somewhere else, but rather than waste time trying to work it out, I'm just going to make them here. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to make the five bars, and then we'll go hit an anvil and make the plate body. Right, there we go. That is the plate body created. Unreal. All right, I now need 190k for what I need. So I'm going to go ahead and alk things that are absolutely not necessary. Uh, I think I'm going to be pretty fine here, to be honest. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of the Rune Full Helm. Don't need that either. And I am going to get rid of the Dragon Battle Axe here, which is probably quite a big shock to some people. Boom. 207k. Nice. I actually had a few more things that I could alk. The Slayer Staff, the Spear, and the Rune Axe, but I'm not going to. I'm also going to keep hold of the Rune Square. Not that I really need it, but whatever. Um, those three things here could be useful at some point. That's why I want to keep hold of them. I'm now going to home teleport to Lumbridge so that we can grab ourselves the Barrow's Gloves. Here we go. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. And let's get ourselves over to Alcarid. I might just run this because I've got the time anyway. We've got 39 minutes. Yeah, we're going to run it. And I'm going to be taking a leaf out of Kinz's book. We are going to go with the Keris Partisan here, guys. We need to find Salim, I think his name is. There we go. And we're going to talk to him and buy ourselves the Keris. Could you sell me another Keris? Should sell this for 60,000 GP. The Partisan, boom. I'll take one. Thank you very much. That is going to be our new weapon instead of the Dragon Battle Axe. Now, I looked into the stats and stuff. Um, the DPS calc. Calculating the things that I think Kins will end up using uh, by the end of the fight or this fight. Um, and the DPS was like way way better than the dragon battle axe i'm gonna get the uh sharks out here we've got two cooked right now boom yeah so the the dps was just so much better like like stupid um i think that's a lot to do with the help of the gear that we're gonna have around it like the glory like the barrows gloves stuff like that uh is gonna be super useful making that carriage just a little bit better um so yeah that's why i've done it it also freed up a load of money which meant i could buy the barrows gloves so yeah, Keras is going to be it. Uh, I saw a few people saying, like, can't you poison the Keras? You can only poison the dagger uh, variant of the Keras. So we're not going to be able to uh, do it on the Partisan, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this should rip Kins apart if he sticks to what he's got with the Crystal Bow. The Guthans Chain Skirt, the Guthans Helm, Room Plate Body, Keras, Tok, Ketzil... The Barrows Gloves. I don't know. Like, it just feels like that should just absolutely demolish. So, we'll see. Uh, obviously, we still have 37 minutes. So, I'm going to fill that time with getting certain things. Um, but, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with where we're going right now. I want to head up to the lighthouse. The only problem is I can't tell you to Barbarian Assault. Because the line goes, like, right here. And the Telly spot is actually on the other grid. But there is a... Agility obstacle here, and I might be able to squeeze up right through. I hope I can hit it from this angle. I think it works from one way and not the other, but the agility sign is on this side, so I'm going to assume it works. No way! The pro strats! We just snuck right through! I don't even know if there's another possible way. The game's necklace for Barba's soul, I don't actually know where that tellies you. Maybe that takes you to the outside. So maybe that strat wasn't even needed. <laughs> but I know the minigame teleport one takes you inside of the building. So I didn't even try it. I didn't even try it. All right, we're going to go for the magic one. I'll get the magic and the Zami one. I definitely won't need the others, I assure you. Trade, is it? I, I, I guess it's got the bandos one. I'll just fucking get them all. It takes, well, 
I can't get them all. Or I can, but honestly, these two are pointless. These three are pointless. So just drop, drop. Right? Which one? I'm losing my fucking mind. Uh, yeah, those three. Boom, Book of Darkness, hell yeah. Alright, we're just gonna put this on real quick, just to see if we should go for anything else. Plus 44 magic. Ah, uh, my defense is so low, he's gonna hit right through. Maybe wearing something like boots might be worth it, or keep those boots on and have this shield on. 31! It, it, oh, I can't do that. Maybe the cape? I might, I might keep the con cape on. I don't know. We'll we'll sort that after the episode. I think my magic attack is high enough. That's all I wanted to know. All right, so now to sort out some food. The first thing I'm going to do is make a load of Guthix rests. They're just so good. If he does bring poison, we can get rid of it if I bring enough, which is what I'm going to do this time. And on top of that, it means we can heal passively without losing any game ticks. Uh, we're going to have to hop to get some more bowls here. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, with the Guthix rest, you can drink it and you can attack instantly. Not like when you eat a shark, for example. You eat a shark and then you have a slight delay. With the Guthix rest, you can just drink them and keep attacking. So if we can fill like maybe five or six slots with Guthix, Guthix rests, maybe I won't go that far, but you get what I mean. It means that we can then just like eat food and still keep attacking, which is huge. Okay, I actually have a decent amount of stuff here. So we go two Guams, one Harolanda, one Marantil. Boom. And I have more Harolanders than Marantil in the bank right now. So Guthix rest three, two Guams, one Harolanda, one Marantil. Boom. I need to get some more Marantil and I need some more Guam. I don't think I'll bother with the Chaos Druid Warriors. They do drop the super defense, but I think I just want raw herbs, to be honest. I think I look like an absolute beast as well. I'm loving this. Let's see what we get. We get a Taramin and a Guam. That's actually really solid. Uh, but we are going to go over to the normal uh, Chaos Druids just because I want to kill as many as possible. These ones here. There's a full inventory of herbs just so quickly. I think we can actually go this way, can we? And get up through there. Yeah, straight to the bank. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, just stupid quick. All right, that is going to be another inventory, and that will be my last in terms of getting herbs. Did get a Quam here as well, so we can now... I've got an unfinished Quam in the bank from last episode, and I can make another. So that's super strength done for the rest of the series. We'll take that Guam there. Uh, loads of Guams. We should be able to make a load of Guthix rest now as well. The thing I was missing last episode to make super strength was I didn't have any limp work roots. So that's what I'm going to go do now. Alright, I'm just going to quickly make this into a super strength. Boom. Beautiful. And then I'm going to get my those out. And we go back to Yanil now. And I'm going to kill Salarin the Twisted. He drops a sinister key 1 in 12. And it means we'll be able to get Torstals, which will turn those into super, those supersets into a super combat. We've got 6 minutes 50 left, and I have 7 minutes 11 of prayer left. So I can keep Protect from Melee on for the whole thing. Um, obviously, I'm only going to probably do... I'm probably going to do the whole thing. Super defense? Oh my god. Okay, thank you, mate. We take that. <laughs> Sinister key. Beautiful. If we can get a second, that would be sick. There's another one. Boom. Job done. Let's get out of here. You nail. Uh, yep, yeah, tally to house. <laughs> oh my god, that's five kills. Five kills, we've got two keys. It's like one in 11, so that's some seriously decent RNG. So we use the key on the chest. And we're actually going to get a load of other herbs here as well, which is going to be nice. We'll just open it. Boom, there we go. Uh, there's the tour stall. That's the one that matters, but we do get like some other cool stuff. Boom, like Raynars and Iret and stuff like that. So great. Lovely. All right, so there's the super set. I'm also going to make my Snapdragons into super restores as well. And then we'll have super restores and the super combat. There we go. I think I am going to leave it there. 30 seconds left. Let me stop the clock and I will show you the setup for this episode. I'm buzzing for this. Why do I always overshoot this pub? I always walk past it. We're buying more stews. The game plan is simple. We're going to try to kill Seracnus. I don't know how many Seracnus kills I can ultimately get in only 45 minutes even less than that because i'm probably gonna buy like three four inventories of stews uh because i have no other food except sharks i have 30 sharks in the bank still thankfully we kept 12 sharks from last fight so we still have a surplus of those and i have 10 lobsters and some tuna that i have in the bank still uh from all of those kills i just got over at next 
Uh, but I don't want to keep killing Nexus episode because I can actually make better money in the next region if I really need it. And I think the 268k I have now is enough to get me started if I want anything in the next region, like a Berserker Helm, for example. I don't know if I'll buy that, but maybe. I just wanted those options, and we now have those options. Um, I don't really think Seracnus is going to do much for us. I don't even know if I could really kill it, if I'm being honest. I know I can, but is it worth it? Ah, we'll see. Getting that D-Med and getting the... Um, the Seracnus Cudgel would be pretty fucking huge, though. And I think it'd be wrong to not at least give it a few more attempts. This wasn't bad at all, to be honest. I didn't really go through that many stews. I'll still have to tell you every kill because I need to get my prayer back from my house. Um, and, of course, the Steel Axe. Grubby Key! Steel Axe is just to chop the web. Grubby Key! You know we love Grubbies around here. Not gonna lie, I think I got really lucky on that first kill. Because... The moment you run out of prayer, you kind of get destroyed. Definitely got lucky on that first kill because we just ran out of prayer there. Low HP, giant egg sack, and quarms. We don't really need quarms anymore. I mean, I thought about opening up my grubby key right now to actually use the superset, but... Uh, I mean, I'm gonna just save that for the final fight just in case I need that. I think I can get super combats pretty easily, but it'd be nice to have a backup plan. And worst case scenario, we just get a range pot instead. And, you know, we have a crystal bow, so it's okay. There's no way! There's no way I'm not gonna get this kill! I'm gonna risk one more hit. Fuck, dude. Oh, it's just prayer. It's just prayer, and I don't really have the prayer pots to spare. Another kill? That time we had a lot of prayer left over. Cudgel! Give me the cudgel! Oh, why do I have that? Egg potato. I guess, honestly, that's just better food for doing exactly what we're doing right now. So we're going to pick that up and get some prayer back. Okay, come on, come on. Cadentine. Is that super defenses? Again, doesn't really matter. I think we'll have time for one more kill and then we're going to open up the grubby. That was a pretty fast kill. What we're going to do is run to the bank, grab the grubby key, open up the grubby key, and then come back. There is going to be no way we're going to kill Seracnus in the time we have left. So let's just open up this chest. Blood runes. Nice. And a super set. Like I said, we can get a super combat pretty easily. There's nothing I can do in 47 seconds. That's meaningful. So we are going to call it there. Let's get our mage gear together. And uh, let's see what we're bringing to the fight. I'm pretty excited about this one. All right, guys, here we go. So upgrades this episode were insane. I, I'm actually almost a completely changed man here. I think the only thing left over is the climbing boots and the attack cape. Other than that, nothing else was brought to the last fight. Uh, very similarly here, we've got that super combat potion, which is huge. We're also going to be able to make another one for next episode because we've got the torso. We've got everything we need to make them. So we'll have the ability to use this whole super combat if I want to, which is just so nice. We've got the super restore. I've got so many of those as well. Um, almost tempted to bring two of those, but I think we'll just test it out and see if we need two or not um, for this fight. Uh, we've got the recoil, two recoils, which we didn't have last time either. I have checked. We've got 40 recoil damage on them, so don't worry, Team Linkers. We're all good there. Uh, the sharks, the sharks I would have liked to have been able to upgrade maybe. Um, I think missing out on the rev caves might hurt me a little bit. Um, he'll probably end up with um, manta rays and anglers and stuff like that um, in the next episode. So we might be a little bit hurt there, but that's the way it goes. And then we got the Guthix Rest, as I was talking about. Um, we can drink these and attack at the same time. And if he brings any type of poison, this should be more than enough to negate it down to the point where it doesn't really matter. Um, and to the point where he might just not even bother using the poison. So I think they're really useful uh, for just both stopping him from using poison and on top of that being able to attack while healing at the same time. Um, the gear is lovely. I'm really happy with it. We're rocking 313 range defense, which is massive. Um, the crystal bow is going to struggle to do serious DPS through that. Um, with all the like gear enhancing stuff we have as well, we have 80 stab with the Keras, which is actually really solid. When you think something like an abyssal whip only has 82 slash, so we're like two behind a whip on its own, which is really naughty. The melee strength is something that isn't great with the Keras, but 
again with the stuff we've got around it we take it to a 70 which is okay uh, i think i'm going to be able to hit like 30 pluses which is more than enough especially with the with the fact that we're now a four tick rather than a six tick on the battle axe so yeah this is the setup we're gonna jump in hopefully we can get the first win of the mini season uh let's do it guys oh my gosh we look amazing honestly before I started filming this episode, I honestly did not expect to be going magic. But again, I think it'd be really good to throw him off even a little bit. Even if it, you know, gets in his head that he has no idea what we're doing in the final fight. I think that in itself is very beneficial. Uh, we opted for the construction cape because we get the extra plus four prayer. And it's a little bit extra defense in, in everything, especially range. It's a difference of plus 11 because the cape gives minus two. If he goes range, I'm probably cooked anyway, but, you know, I just I just figured the cape just overall was better for only sacrificing plus two magic attack bonus. I should be hitting with 47 magic. If I'm not, there's there's a, there, there's a deeper rooted issue. Kid eyes. My man. How was that? Uh, <laughs> you feeling another four now? hours. You, you have... don't sound good again. Why do you uh, always sound defeated? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to keep you on your toes, bro, you know? Hey, okay, all right, all right. You had my starting chunk and I had your starting chunk. Yes. Your yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, I call them chunks all the time. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> How was it, mate? How was it being over there? Um, I went a bit radical. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. All right, interesting. Yeah, nothing else out of me. Okay, all right. I don't know <laughs> yeah. where to go from that. Um, all right. You're I just, not supposed I, to. Yeah, I just want to know what you got now, so I'm happy to jump straight into a reveal if you are, mate. Like. <laughs> cool. I'm just going to say gloves because I know you got them ah, now. The, the I know bad you boys. Got the bad boys. I mean, it, it would have been a huge blunder if you somehow didn't bring yeah, those. No, Jeez. They, uh, they were definitely one of the priorities for sure. Let's hear the money situation. Was it all carried over from last step? I don't no, know. No, I, I, I think I started with about 3k. I had a few alcables and I think I got. Myself... Oh, because you bought the act. Mm. Right, right, right. So I, I had a few alcables which got me back to like maybe 40k or so, but I, I made the rest of the money for uh, for this for sure. Okay. So okay. yeah, yeah. Um, mm. Kins, I'm gonna treat you with a with a cape. Let's let's go modest. Let's keep ourselves. Oh, you're really nice. going modest. I got the fire cape. No. <laughs> I I mean, it would have been a pretty cool play. I don't uh, think it's worth the time no, it's or the. Definitely it's, not. Yeah. Definitely not. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm. You know, I'm. I'm gonna keep going modest. Let's go. Uh, necklace. Ooh, he says modest. Mm, I knew it was coming. Yeah, you kind of spoiled to, yeah, the drag. Yeah, I, I mean, I did edit the video yeah, as exactly. well. I saw you got yeah. the drag. <laughs> okay. I just have this still, mm -hmm. which is pretty good. Yeah, to be you honest, just got like, dumb lucky. Well, I, I looked <laughs> at them when I was doing a bit of a workout what I wanted to do, and it's like you get more defense with that. You get the same sort of like bonuses here and there. It's it's not a huge leap, but it's it's obviously nice. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Um. Come on then, let's go shield, Kins. Let's see what's. Oh. Let's see if he's bringing. I have one. a shield slot this Ooh, time. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh my god, no way yeah <laughs> how many kills how many kills i uh i did it with runes mate how'd you get runes what did you were you doing barrows i did a bit of barrows mate okay okay wow okay wow 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 i dude <laughs> wow no i like that Be, no you want to know why i really like that because you struggled so hard in the first region and I couldn't do things like that. So yeah. you're like reaping the benefits of things 100%. that I couldn't do. 100%. I looked at it and I was like, he could have done Barrows, but it would have taken you like two to oh, three yeah. hours would, to would get the starter runes and stuff. And Mess. Yeah, it would have been hard, but I was like, he didn't get to do this. And I was very angry about my defender. So I was like, fuck it. I'm doing something he couldn't do, you know? Like, so. No, that makes sense. And that I make, thought that makes sense. you had the crystal. Good range defense on that as 65 well. 65 range defense. It gives me strength. So it's a, it's a definitely, it's not as horrible as losing the defender was now. The fact I have this. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I thought you were going to go crystal and you still can, but. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. It's still possible. Okay. Uh, your pick, mate. Okay. Wow. 
Let's go. Let's go helm. No way, dude. No way. Well, At okay, least I'm going to this know, fucking I episode. Know, I, know, I, know, I, mean, I mean, the book gives it but, all away, but yeah, the book. No, but this still is dog shit, bro. You can have this <laughs> in the next set. <laughs> the Link RNG strikes again. 1KC for the helm. Fuck off. <laughs> Literally, here I was. Thought I was so clever going magic. And then, again, I still might win this, yeah, but like yeah, yeah, yeah. It, the final fight is what matters, yeah, guys. It's yeah, not. Yeah. Anyways, okay. Oh, I hate that. Here, he's gonna pull a Carol's body next. <laughs> let's go, let's go booties, mate. Let's go booties. And I think I'm. Moon oh, Clan. Yeah, I'm okay. going like full, full magic. No, you haven't okay. pieced that yeah. together. Did you get the okay. Shazian Fives by any chance for future range bonus or just didn't even... Didn't even cross my mind, right, okay. for being honest. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, interesting. Nope. <laughs> uh, let's go legs. Oh, no. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Get the... the... <laughs> It's like, uh, what was that? Four? 20 KC. 20 KC. Oh my god. All right. Whoa. All right. All right. What a joke, dude. What a joke. All right, Bonnie. I gotta. I swear to fuck if he's got another one, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> oh, he's laughing. He's gonna have a body. <laughs> I don't okay. have one. I don't have one. I, I stopped. Thank fuck, dude. You don't deserve a body I on top stopped. of that as well. I stopped at 21. Um, yeah, mainly because I was like, he, with this gear now, he's going to have to go magic. And I was like, I can now fill it with something magic. Dude, magic. I literally started this episode with the idea of like, let me get these robes just in case. Because I can't get anything else right, after yeah. this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ended up being the smartest yeah. way I've made. Wow. Okay. Uh, I've just got rings okay. and a weapon. Okay. Uh, I have a recoil. Yeah, I'll cool. I, I've got two. I, got I brought two, two as yeah. well. I got two as well. Boom. Okay. All right. Weapons, weapons, weapons. What's he got in the weapon? So I guess you didn't go barrel chest, which I was... I guess I wasn't assuming you were, but I knew it was a it was a I play. The problem but... is how slow it is and mm -hmm. two-handed. No shield. No shield, yeah. Against the crystal bow, fuck me. I think it just get torn apart. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, count us in, dude. Count right. us in. I mean, you don't know what I have. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh, you cheeky little fucker. <sighs> I DPS calc it, mate. It's better than about. Of course it, it is. A... That's why I got it, Mr. <laughs> DPS Calc. Uh, uh, that DPS Calc definitely is not 100% accurate. It's not 100%, accurate. We, we need you, a new DPS it gives Calc. You, I think it's dog uh, shit. It gives you a thought process, you know? It does. Um, it does. I'm sporting plus 17 magic defense in this. Mm, that gives no I think negative. that weapon actually gives magic defense as well, doesn't it? I think well, it's two, isn't it? it? Oh, he gets two attack, not two defense. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. Mm, okay, all right. All I right. do have plus 47, so if you think another DT2 situation is going to happen, I, I think you're... I think Look, you're I'm, I'm praying for it, mate. I'm praying for it. Uh, uh, I'm not going to lie, I didn't bring any d hud switch or anything. My whole time was uh, spent getting barrow stuff really and then doing yeah. a few other things and my thought i figured was, that's why i did this yeah i got oh. mid skilled last one so that's obviously going to be an easy mm -hmm. way to get d hide so i let it i let it slide um, there's no tanner in that last one how are you gonna do that <laughs> or is there and i'm an idiot uh, you'll see mate you'll see don't you worry about that kids it or maybe he's already has the black dehyde. Don't, I, don't you worry, kids. Maybe don't, he's don't, already got don't, it. Don't you worry about that. Spill the beans. No, I'm not spilling it. Spill, um, um, unless he's trying to... Did I just, like, fuck up last episode? I don't even... No, he's playing mind games. That's what he's doing. <laughs> he's playing fucking mind games. Uh... Got full guffing, dude. You don't need to play mind games. All right. Same. Okay, I got... I'll just put it in the order of my inventory. Okay. Nice. So we got a super defense. Nice. I didn't have four doses. Got a grubby key. I was actually setting some Seracnus. Mm. And I got like four kills. That actually was my five kills. So I got like nine kills this episode. Uh, I got a grubby. Opened that up. And I had just other super nice. defenses as nice. well. Okay. Um, Blood runes I got, from... Uh, I killed a lot of Nexus episode. Right. Just to make money and get runes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. again, I wasn't planning on actually going magic. I just got the robes for actually the final fight if I needed it. Right. And I was like, right, ah, right. 
I'm not gonna go magic. But then I'm sitting there, I'm like, there's no way he thinks I'm gonna go magic right now. There's no fucking uh, way yeah, fair he's enough. gonna think I'm going magic. And I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna go magic and yeah. see what happens. Yeah, no, and I'm fair. really fucking glad I did. Mm, okay. So right. yeah, and then the rest sharks. There's nothing too fancy. Nice. So I uh I actually got this together, which saves two inventory slots, which is amazing. Ooh. I was killing Salarin the Twisted for uh, Sinister Keys at the end. Right. To okay. get tour stools. Um. Then okay. I made four of those, but I got fuck loads more. Uh, just in case you go you poison. Love those. Well, it's in case you go poison, and I can just true. keep DPS the tiki, going. I think. Yeah. So why not? Um. Boom and boom. Okay. Ah, uh, how accurate okay. is it going to be? That's the question. That is the question. That is always the million dollar yeah. question. I have a lot of runes and I didn't bring a switch. I, I was going boss the wall full magic. No, so. fair enough. Fair enough. We'll see. Babe. Cool. All right, dude. I have started to record. So whenever you are ready. All righty. Good luck. I'm going to pop my pot now. So this is your two second warning. All right. Boom. And let's do this. Oh, okay. I just realized, Link, mm -hmm. and chat's probably going to laugh at me for this, but I actually had dolls that I didn't bring. Oh, <laughs> I really? had a lot. Yeah. Ooh. It's not ideal. I mean, I, I, I will say that if that ends up being my downfall, it just means I'm way too inaccurate, though. So yeah. I don't, I mean, I'm stressed I didn't bring it, but I don't think it's going to be like some crazy problem. Because I have a lot of casts here. You do have a lot of casts. Sorry for the boring fight, guys. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes, fuck, fuck you, Kins. Fuck you. Sometimes it, ha yeah, fuck you and your barrows. I don't want to hear shit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I mean... Like, heals now would be brilliant because yeah, I don't stop for the sure, DPS. For sure. But we are hitting, so... You are so... absolutely hitting like a truck. I can't take that off what we're doing. I mean, it doesn't change too much. I wasn't going to say either. anything. It's, but... it's like minus two. I'm not too bothered about yeah. it. Well, I'm splashing like crazy all of a sudden. Yes, hit zeros, hit zeros, hit zeros. Nice. Out of 27. Bro. Nice. Did he just get lucky? Maybe no. not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. Your recoil's doing bits. <laughs> Damn. That's what we like to see. Right? I mean, so is my spell, yeah, though. I mean, oh, my oh, God. It's just okay. absolutely I don't think I like tearing it. me apart. Probably should have eaten there. Okay. Okay. How's I he think catching that was just... every single one? Yeah. What? Well, the last one before that, Jesus I didn't. I took Christ. me a while. It took me a while what to catch that one before. What the fuck, man? Oh, this is this is BS. He's catching every single freeze. Watch this. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay, yeah. it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Wait, is he out? No. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous, guys. I'm not even going to bother using the recoil. Oh, my God. Wow. Nah, that's broken, bro. That's wow. That's broken. Ooh. I was sporting like... What? I had like at least 20 magic defense there. Like, what? This sets up a really good final fight. No, though. it doesn't. You've won all three. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you and your guffins. My range is out of commission now. Shut the now. fuck up. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> I did so well. And you turn up with that shit salad rope crap. Fuck you. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> oh, GZ, oh. beast. GZ. <laughs>